Capital expenditures, or CapEx, refers to the money that a company spends on fixed assets. Those assets include things like purchase of buildings, maintenance of those buildings, improvements, uh, equipment, land, vehicles, etc. These items are also sometimes called PP&E, property, plant, and equipment. Essentially, items covered by CapEx are physical goods or services that are usually one-time purchases and are intended to benefit uh, the company for a year or more. In IT, CapEx items typically include things like servers, network equipment, power systems, UPSs, printers, scanners, the typical stuff you see in an office that IT repairs, covers, deals with. The procurement costs for CapEx items show up on an organization's balance sheet, and those costs are depreciated over several years, according to tax code. CapEx has pros and cons from the accounting side. If an asset's life expectancy extends beyond a year, which, which is typical, think of a server for example, the cost is expensed using depreciation anywhere from 5 to 10 years. Real estate can be depreciated over 20 years. Finance teams and bookkeepers love CapEx tax depreciations. However, the more money that gets put toward CapEx means less free cash flow for the rest of the company. Obviously, this can hinder shorter-term operations for the organization. Operating expenses, also known as OPEX, are funds that a company uses to run the day-to-day -day business. Items that show up under OPEX are generally used up within the year that they are purchased. Things like printer cartridges, office supplies, electricity, these types of things are generally purchased under the operating expense budget. Other items such as contracts or yearly service or maintenance agreements, things like web hosting and domain registrations are also considered OPEX items. That's because they're used up within a year. OPEX also covers pay-as-you-go items that show up on a company's profit and loss statement. And obviously, these are deducted from income as they occur. Lots of IT hardware, including servers, UPS systems, generators, and the like, can be purchased either as a capital item or as an operating expense item. What this means is, you can typically pay cash and either own the item outright as a capital expense, or you can lease the item or sign like a hosting contract with a managed service provider. Doing that makes the purchase an operating expense item. Now, when goods and services are purchased as OPEX, costs for those goods and services are assigned to the OPEX budget, and then the expense is tracked in the profit and loss statement. Monthly expenses associated with that equipment are then tracked and deducted from the bottom line as they're incurred. They're not depreciated as many CapEx items are. What you'll see in lots of businesses is that management is often asked to decrease OPEX spending without putting the company in a position where it can't compete or produce product. OPEX expenses, unlike those under CapEx, are fully tax deductible in the year that they're made. Making choices between CapEx and OPEX for acquiring new IT equipment isn't new. It's been a thing in various shapes and forms for a very long time. However, what's different today about it is that with new cloud hosting capabilities such as Azure, using OPEX to obtain major IT infrastructure and even services is far easier today than it's ever been before.